Okay, hello, Steve Sneed here, acting instructor. I'm located at South Lake High School in Seattle, Washington. Now, today I'm going to talk about uh, the physical and um, physicality and um, a little bit about character, right? Assuming uh, a role and being observant. The important thing is to be observant about your instrument, what it's doing. A lot of times when I would start a character, I would what I would first, of course, I learn about the character, and then I would develop the walk because the walk to me embodied, you know, the feel of the character, right? So, you know, if I had to walk like this, or say, you know, I'm gonna walk on my toes, or um, if I'm old, right? I, let's say the old man, I was kind of walking like, like I'm real old, right? If I'm walking like this, but you see how my feet are doing something different, right? They're, they're slapping. Um, and uh, let's see. The reason I have to tell this story, this is a quick story, students, bear with me. Uh, I was in a play, this is in college, and I was, I'd was i walk across the stage, and I'd always do like that. And it's harder to do with my tennis shoes. If I had heels on, you know, back in the day, you'd have these little metal taps on your shoes, and it had a cool sound. You walked, and you have that little <laughs> cool sound going. You know, but I adopted that walk. It was just how I walked all the time. And the director finally said to me one day, Steve, would you please stop walking across the stage, scraping your feet? <laughs> and the re and I mean, he was he was frustrated. He had been listening to, and he couldn't under and it shocked me because you know my director he liked me. He gave me good parts, and. Um, it made me think, wow, for the first time, I actually paid attention to my feet and what I did with them whenever I did a character. So I say that to you to stress the importance of paying attention to what your body is doing. So now in class, we do an improv game. And we do it to develop the thinking about your facial expression. So for instance, I'll give them a card, and on the card, it will say, hungry. So then they have to come in and show hunger. And um, the rest of the students have to guess what they're doing. So I'm going to give you a couple examples and see if you can uh, guess what I'm doing. All right? Uh, let's see. Okay, I got one. Okay. Can you guess what I was doing? That's kind of easy. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> okay. Here's another one. And you do these yourself, right? You can do these yourself, but I'm just giving you an example. Oh! Okay, those are a couple examples. So think of your own words. Happy, sad, pain, anger, right? Use these words, and then, and you can videotape yourself and show them to people and see if they can give you, right, if they can guess what it is. And again, look at yourselves in the mirror. Okay, so let's do a couple more walks. Now, another way to think about it is, if I'm a professional, and I think I'll walk toward you, if I'm a professional, I'm a lawyer, say, how might I carry myself, right? If I'm a lawyer, I'm gonna carry myself. Right, like that. Let me do it. Let me do it sideways too, so you can see. I'm a lawyer. I got to think about my shoulders, right? How is my head? What is my head doing? What's my neck doing? Okay. So let's say I'm construction worker, right? I got to carry heavy stuff, and I got I use my hands. Right, so how might I? Right. 
I walk a little different, right? How's that? Subtle. You want to be subtle too. How does that? Does that look like a construction worker? What did I do? I just widened my stance a little bit, rock back and forth a little bit, heads down, shoulders. What are my shoulders doing? Hmm. It's one of the things I really liked about acting is that walk really makes a difference, that physicality. So explore that. Um, give yourself a word, give yourself a persona, a profession, and then assume the way they walk. And I'm going to ask you to do this. Don't look at a movie about a lawyer and then decide how to walk. Don't do that initially. You've already got all that information stored up. You already have an image for yourselves. And um, what you'll find is you take in a lot of data. You know, you say a doctor. How does a doctor come in? Also, pace is really important. Let's say, how does a doctor? I think of a doctor, because the other thing is, everyone's going to think they're going to interpret a profession or a type a little differently. And um, that's all that matters. There's an interpretation for everything. It's different based on who you are, right? But they're all valid. So let's say a doctor, I'd imagine a doctor and pace, a doctor might be. Do to me, doctors are always in a hurry, right? <laughs> they come in the room, they come to see you. Hey, Mr. Sneed, how are you doing? Okay, all right, uh-huh, check your vitals, you're good, all right, we'll see you. <laughs> doctors, doctors are actually always busy. I notice that, they're, or they're moving quickly. Uh, but pace is an important one, too. Because um, uh, pace just keeps things moving, you know. Intention, right? What's intention? How about if I, if I look like this, what do I look like I'm, you know, do I look like I'm, I'm, I'm going to do something important, you know, like a friend of mine, I went to New York, he said, now when you're in New York, walk like you got somewhere to go, don't walk like you're looking around, like, you know, no, uh -uh, don't do that in New York, you better walk like you got somewhere to go, so that's a different walk, right, like you're, I got somewhere to go, I am busy, I am important, <laughs> right, I am important individual here, I have somewhere to be, okay, okay, so, you know why they call them plays, right? You go to see something in the theater, it's called a play? Because it involves play. So the important message today is play. Get your body used to playing. Have fun. All right, Steve Sneed, acting. Again, I'm at South Lake High School in Seattle, Washington. <laughs> All right, thanks.